It's a night one veteran air traffic controller would like to forget. He had just cleared an Aragol 767 from Ecuador to land on a runway at New York's JFK Airport. Aragol 700 heavy chem detour, wind calm, runway 1 through left, clear to land. Wind calm, 1 through left, clear to land, clear to land. It's a very, very routine operation. But that's when the Aragol pilot, for reasons still unknown, turned his 767 aircraft filled with passengers toward the wrong runway. Instead of 13 left, he turns sharply to runway 13 right, where a JetBlue regional aircraft has started his takeoff. Another pilot waiting to depart alerts the tower. And tower for Delta 122. It looks like that guy is trying to land on 123 right. With seconds to spare, controller Steve Abraham radios the Aragol pilot to abort his landing. Aragol 780, go around, fly runway heading because you're lining up for the wrong runway. You need to start the immediate right turn. Still not sure the pilot understood, the controller repeats the emergency order to turn. But you need to start an immediate right turn. You need to turn right. There's somebody rolling underneath you. Once he's turned, which seems like a lifetime, but probably is only 10 to 15 seconds later, he turns to the right and JetBlue takes off next to him. JFK has deployed new ground radar that is supposed to alert air traffic controllers to close calls on the runways. But on the night of this incident, that new equipment was not working. Jim Hoffer, ABC News, New York.